Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Nigeria right now is under pressure. It's tensed. And um, a little push from either quarter can either make the country navigate out of the troubled water or it can actually totally break the country into pieces. Well, as we speak, more groups are coming up. More groups are giving ultimatums. More groups are calling out other groups and insisting that this whole thing must stop and must end and all boils down to insecurity but before we go into the next report to find out what is going on in the southeast again we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube this time around it is not a uh, ipob it is actually the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of biafra Masob has actually issued fulani has 48 hours ultimatum to vacate ayamemu local government area of anambra state Masob Masob's damian Zekwe in ayamelum gave the warning while reacting to the recent abduction and subsequent murder of the president general pg of omar community that is barrister frank anyamumelo omuachi chai that's too bad though in the quay said the, the cutting down of his life had brought to the forefront the activities of armed headsmen which according to him included incessant um going into women farmers naming and chasing away farmers from the land in the area he insists enough of this heartless activity we are given the fulani headsmen in anaku omar and the entire anya melum region 48 hours to produce the president general or quit the region failure they will wait and see what will befall them he filmed this is getting out of hand though. enough of the fight against anaku Omar and resident of Anyamelum region. Information we got was that the headsmen were the one that killed the PG of Omar, that's President General of Omar. We also heard they vowed not to allow the native farmers to rest by stopping them from going to the farm to farm. Let them wait for us in our own land. They should leave the area immediately in their own interest. Enough of this barbaric and and one turn way of at, uh, doing things in our own land and doing all this and going against our people doing all manner is including harm on our innocent farmers by this devil killer man he warned this is really serious honestly i'm beginning to wonder we keep talking about this issue of insecurity and to think that this guy is despite everything come this thing we are keeping quiet over is actually worrisome more they have called on the federal government. They have called on the state government. They have said, okay, pay 500 million, 500,000 naira fine. They have done all sorts. And it seems as if these headsmen or bandits, they come in, they do all sorts, and they go. Nobody arrests them. Even if they're arrested, they're released. Wakili till today, we have not known the end result of Wakili. Wakili is just relaxing. The OPC guys that went and brought in Wakili, the ghost, quote and unquote, is actually the ones that are actually going through so much legal cases now for daring to protect their land. I I I, I read with dismay as in I, I was wondering how did we get to this level? We are um, farmers out of being angry, brought down the hearts of um flying heads by taking all your state as well, or your state Saki, or your state. They arrested them immediately. They arrested the, the farmers immediately for burning the hearts of Fulani headsmen. And I asked the question. They're like a Sunday uh, uh, we say, a borrowed day that they they they, 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 they took his life. Uh, the Alaja lady, a larger woman also that is also a renowned person in all your state, and all that. Wakili here is the one living one that they already know. Nothing is being done. Injustice to one is injustice to all. Though. Equity and justice is what makes a country, after sovereignty, equity and justice is what keeps uh, the, so the, the sovereignty and also what keeps the diverse ethnic groups together. If we know that injustice to whatever um, crime or criminality committed by one tribe is going to be you know, addressed by the rule of law and law, full justice will be meted. It will discourage others from going into that, that, that sort of crime and it will also encourage others to do good. In a situation where headsmen are having a few day, 
of heights for, uh, for land balance are having a few day and you expect people not to use resort to self help it will not work oh. we heard that that, that um uh, the, the defense nigerian defense is moving in to ensure that uh, peace and uh, tranquility is restored that's a good move it's a wonderful move we applaud it but please let's start with the ones that are threat to life and property let's start with the bandits they have made up their mind that indigenous people in look at what is happening in, uh, look at what happened in uh, Benue. even the governor governor told himself his life is at risk look at what happened to Benue. what happened in Benue. look at what happened in TV. That's TV, where TV people are even complaining and crying. Look at what, 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 what took place in Jaws, Plateau, Plateau State, where some of the indigenous land have been converted by the Fulanese and are now bearing Fulani name and they are about to run census on those land, meaning those indigenous people may find themselves permanently living in IDP camp. They will become foreigners in their own land. Why these guys that have found their way into the community will not become the original owner of that land, then history will be changed. I always say this. Each time I see this, I always say it. Go and check those who travel out of the country the most. They're mostly southerners. If the northerners are traveling, they're going to Dubai, United Arab Emirates, or other places just to buy gold or buy some sort of products or produce and come back. But it's the southerners that want to run. They'll tell you, uh, they'll say, mm, I beg, I want to jackpot. You want to jackpot and leave your country, by the time you come back, it's already gone. You don't have, you don't, don't, don't even know your ancestral land anymore because that's your ancestral land that you had a particular name on it has been changed to a different name entirely. Then you now become, rarely do you see the northerners travel and remain there. They, 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 they're mostly coming into the country. We need to fix our country. And the only way we can do this is that for all there to be equity and justice. Or else, this issue of uh, secession, I, I personally, people have been shouting secession. I would rather run for restructuring, you know. I, see, if you have ever tasted uh, uh, the 1967 to 1972 uh, uh, Brafran and Nigerian uh, war, you will understand that no one country goes through two of, two of such activities and survives. I would have preferred, like Akito uh, will always say, in a, in a way that has no di dialogue. But the question is, will the people you are even do, working against, would they even want it that way? They are already bringing fire and bricks to your doorstep. And the people must defend themselves. The country, if they, they really want this country to remain as one full indivisible country, then the best time to dialogue and the best time to restructure should be now. Otherwise, of course, we're actually playing with, the, playing with everything that we hold dear. They have given them 48 hours. It begins today. At 48 hours, we get we we'll definitely find out from Masob if eventually they adhere to that call or if they are saying, bring on, we are waiting for you. That's what we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet to the comment section. What's your take on what is going on in the southern part of Nigeria and the fact that Masob have decided to join forces with other people to say enough.